when it comes to hockey, we all think about the great one, Wayne Gretzky. There was one before him that was known as Mr. Hockey. On January 16th, 1960, Gordie Howe gave the all-time leading score in the NHL. Let's find out the story behind Mr. Hockey. Welcome to Daily Sports History. I'm Ethan Reese, your guy to a quick deep dive every day into sports history. In a world where legends are born, one man stood above them all. He was known as Mr. Hockey, and his story is one of skill, strength, and longevity that transcended generations. He played one of the world's most demanding sports, until he was 52 years old, and many fans argue no one played it better. His pro career of 2,421 games ran from World War II through the Vietnam, Truman to Carter, Sinatra to the Sex Pistols. He lasted so long that he played professionally with his children. Gordy Howe combined skill, savvy, strength, Meanness and longevity like no other hockey player ever has. He is among the greatest sports stars of the 20th century. House on Ice persona, like his understated personnel, was subtle. He understood the game's rhythms and quickly excelled at every skill it demanded. From skating to shooting, he was far more durable than any other star. He was one of the league's strongest players. How stopped being a fighter just after he established himself as a star, but he played with attitude, a goal, an assist, and a fight during the game. For one player became known as the Gordie Howe hat trick. And the great one, Wayne Gretzky, said Gordie Howe was his idol and his hero, and he wore 99 because Howe. Ward no. But it wasn't just his skills on the ice that made Howe an icon. It was his remarkable partnership with his wife, Colleen. Colleen carved a groundbreaking role for herself as Gordy's agent, promoter, and business partner. Their love story is one for the ages, but their business ventures rewrote the book on how a star athlete and his wife can capitalize on their stardom even decades after his final game. In the world of hockey, they were pioneers, but their journey was not without challenges. As a young star, Howe had little money. Early in his career, he hauled cement bags in the summer. In Net Worth, a book about how they go over his resiliency to demand more from the wings and made him the most underpaid player in history. When he was suing the league, Howe recognized the irony that he was refusing to join the Players Union in 1950. Howe's membership would have boosted the union's status, but he was afraid of alienating the wing's management. In the end, Howe's legacy extended far beyond the ice. He was not just a hockey player. He was a symbol of dedication, love, and power of partnerships. Although Howe, a.k.a. Mr. Hockey, has passed, we will always remember him for how he made everything look impossibly easy, both on and off the ice. He is a legend that will never fade. Thank you for listening to today's Daily Sports History. We hope you enjoyed this incredible tale. We'll tell all your friends about the sports history you're learning from the Daily Sports History and come back more tomorrow to gain more knowledge about sports history every day.